Hey there, it's Martha. And if you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. I have, uh, I think this is like my last full vendor collection video that I had left from my wax collection. I had no idea it was going to take me, I don't know, <laughs> five months uh, to share all of them, but I'm almost there. And then I have my miscellaneous drawer, my, my like just small, you know, small amounts of uh, different vendors here and there. Uh, that I have, but this is the pharmacist's daughter. I, um, the pharmacist's daughter was probably the second or third, like my first three vendors was Harper James L3 and the pharmacist's daughter. So I don't remember what order, but I know it was a winter RTS and, uh, I melted it within probably a few weeks, maybe a month and it performed great and so i was like yes and then i got distracted with a bunch of other vendors and hadn't purchased pharmacist's daughter since 20 december of like 2022 this past year i placed two orders and i think this particular vendor is one that every once in a while i'll like dip my toe in there but i don't need a lot um even though it performs pretty well i'm also not as familiar with scents and I think I'm like this with now vendors who have like monthly pre-orders. I feel like I can jump in at any time. And so I don't feel this like pool of like having to order every month. So, so it's one that I can set aside for a while. It's also one just because of the way she shipped things last, um, last time around. Uh, I know a lot of people were upset with that. I lucked out that it arrived okay, but I was shocked, right? Uh, coming in mailer bag. So, you know, unless I feel like I need several cents, I don't think I'll, I'll shop for a while, but I'm sure it'd be one that I'll have, I'll be antsy like I was this year. I'm like, you know what? It's been a while since I've ordered. I'm feeling like I need some scents. So anyway, this is a mix of some winter scents, scents I never showed, shown before because they were um, part of like a Halloween sampler and um i have to i don't even know what i have in there but i do remember melting a few going oh i like the scent so anyway let's get started with the pharmacist's daughter all right i'm going to just put on my, my glasses here just to make it easier and so this first one here is bath time it's white clouds lemon curd Avo Bath and Swedish Dream Salts. This was a good strong one. I, I think she's really one of the few vendors, I don't see very many at all, that use Swedish uh, Dream Salt. Uh, so I did, I, I do like that um, because it is something, a, a blend or a scent that I like. I get that in this. I also get the Avo Bath with, I think many of you said it's like a lush scent. Um, and so this is a nice strong one, but you got to like lemon. Then I got sunbathing. So this is, I, mean, I am just picking from the top. So it's probably my most recent haul. So I won't spend too much time on this because I did recently talk about these. Sunbathing, this is, you know, suntan lotion, cocoa butter, cashmere. Wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I really get more cocoa butter and cashmere than the suntan lotion. So that one is okay. I don't know that I, well, I would, I, I should say, I do know that I, would not repurchase that one again. I think there's other, I'm still looking for like a really good suntan lotion scent. Then I have lavender, uh, night, night. This is lavender and pink sugar. Definitely into lavender. I melted a lavender scent, uh, this past week. It was so good. Yeah, this is really pretty. This is a nice, um, kind of sweet lavender because of that sugar. You get that sweetness. I don't know why I'm burping. I shouldn't be. <laughs> lavender tea and cakes. This is lavender tea, lavender tea and cakes and toasted marshmallow. So another really nice lavender, but look at this. I mean, there's like wax everywhere. And it is a, it's not a hard wax, it's just a messy one. I get the tea and cakes and the lavender in here. So this is, that's a pretty one. I like that. Okay. Now we'll get into some tubs. Sullivan's Island. This is sun and sand, vanilla bean Noel and pink chiffon. Sullivan's Island. I think this was the one that probably surprised me the most in a good way from the last haul. 
Yeah. This to me, I think the sun and sand is more of the suntan lotion kind of scent that I wanted. It's not suntan lotion, but it reminds me of the beach. So it's got that mix of this kind of beach, beachy. Uh, I think there's like an, there's got to be like sea salt or ocean breeze in there because I'm getting some of that. Then peach coconut crack, uh, peach bellini and coconut crack. And this, I, I'm glad I got this one because I know I'm, I was a little like mm, on the peach, but this smells fantastic. It, it does smell very much just like peach. I'm not getting as much coconut crack if I remember correctly. Yeah, I get a lot of peach in that, but it's a nice, it's a good, good peach. I like that. Same thing with the key lime coconut crack. So this was the one that was sent in the mailer. Yeah, you know, I mean, it didn't get totally damaged, but it's looked better. It's had better days. This, I got a lot of key lime, not as much coconut crack, but I'm hoping that as this cures a little bit, or maybe when I melt it, I'll get more of the coconut crack. But even if I, even if it, if I don't get that and I just get what I smell on cold, I'm loving key lime. So I like that scent a lot. And then the last of the loaves. So I only have three loaves from pharmacist daughter. And the last one is the OG. It's the coconut crack. So coconut crack consists of coconut, coconut cream pie, coconut shortbread cookies, pie crust, sugar cookie dough. Coconut crack. So Although I'm not a loaf girl, I have those two loaves from, from the pharmacist's daughter. Then I've got frosted berry cake. This is blackberries, raspberries, strawberry, white cake, boardwalk, marshmallow clouds. And this one, I think I just got a lot of berries. <laughs> it's like a berry bakery scent. Nothing. Yeah, it's nice. It's actually really good. It's an, it's really pretty, I'd say realistic berries. Um, I get the raspberry and the strawberries and it's a good strawberry. So I do like that one. Um, but you know, kind of, a, I hate to say basic cause that sounds bad. It's just a good basic all around berry bake bakery scent. Um, then evening walk. This is driftwood, tonka, oud, sea island, cotton, and Swedish dream salt. So I do like that. Swedish dream salt. And I do remember this one. I think this I got back in. I did not. I should put stickers while I have this out. I, I need to put stickers on when I got this. I want to say this was from April. March pre-order got it in April. Yeah. This clean outdoor air, but I do get that Swedish dream salt, which is I like it. It's kind of spa, like a spa-like scent. And then we got Splash. This is Blue Sugar, Palo Santo, and Rain. I'm also enjoying some rain scents. Yeah. What's interesting to me, and this video will probably post maybe a couple weeks after I'm recording it. This is like, what, what's, what's today? June 13th, but it'll, I'll probably post it later but I melted something this week with blue sugar as well. And I'm getting that note. It's almost the sweet. I'm getting like a whiff of like, is it butterscotch or something? And I was like, why am I smelling that? That smells weird. But this is smelling similar to one that I'm warming this week, which I don't know if I'll talk about it in my, what I've been melting. I probably will. Um, Blue sugar and fluffy towels from Rose Girls. I mean, there's a lot of similarities there. So this one is Splash. Then we've got Sweet Slumber. It's lavender marshmallow fluff, pink sugar, sugar cookies. Sweet Slumber. I do wish that I had grabbed her Dreamtopia, I think it was called. I got that in a sample and that smells really nice. But this is good too. It's a, it's kind of a bakery uh, lavender with the sugar cookie. So that's nice. And then Haley, this is lavender, fresh linen, sun-dried cotton and marshmallow Haley. 
and I believe this is named after Kim from Kim Hearts Organizing's daughter. Yeah, it's so pretty. This is a very pretty scent. I get that fresh linen, but it's not overly, overly laundry to me. It's just powdery and soft. And then you get that lavender. It's almost like a cozy blanket. It's a cozy, clean blanket. That's really nice. All right, so now we're gonna get into my older, older wax, but I've got Fire Pit. This is Amber Rosewood Marshmallow Fireside Steel Sugar and Cashmere. Got this back in December of 2022. So this is getting, getting you know, almost uh, two years here. I mean, a year and a half, but I have found that her wax performs great. I mean, I, I melt, melted some of this last December, so it was already a year old and I felt like it hadn't lost any scent. It performed fantastic. So I'm, I'm pretty hopeful about that, that this will continue to be a good, this, this, I definitely want to finish this year in December. Um, but I do get that fireside, a little smokiness, the amber. So you get this amber rosewood. So it's a woody note. And then the stainless steel adds this metallic coolness, very interesting scent. Uh, and that is fire pit. And um, when I purchased these, I'll, I did for most of them got like duplicates. I'm pretty sure I've already warmed one of them, I think. Um, this next one here is Christmas Mint. It's Santa's Tree Farm Rosemary Mint and Cashmere. First time kind of trying Rosemary Mint and I got the Rosemary for sure. Yeah, but it's, ooh, this is good. It's a, it's not, I get a lot of that mintiness and it's that kind of mint that just opens up your nose like a, <laughs> that like just breathe kind of mint. Then I've got Peppermint Dreams, Peppermint Pink Sugar and Cotton Candy. I do like, um, I did like this one. I know I've warmed one other before. So these were all shapes that I got when I placed my first order. This has that um, kind of like a candy cane scent, really nice. Um, here I have Warm Mug. I was gifted this. So we're getting into some where I have samples because maybe my friend got some. I know that Ansley, she's, it's Kim and Ansley, I believe, are the owners. And she would do, I don't know if she still does them because I don't go on Facebook all that often, but she'd have like these like defective ones or, you know, maybe they'd been dented or whatever. And then she would auction them off like, and, and for like really cheap, I think, like really cheap. So my friend ended up with some loaves and stuff. And she does this on Wednesdays too, where she'll just on Facebook, I think you, she says like, you know, like this is number 112. And then the first one to type it in, uh, you know, they, they go back and they check and you've, you've not won it, you're buying it, but you won it, right? You're, you've got the, the chance to buy it. And uh, she, she ended up doing that a couple of times. My friend did. So warm mug smells like kind of like coffee, but I don't know. I didn't put much more. Yeah. It's like a, it's coffee. It's like a coffee scent. It's very nice. It, it, she, I've heard she does a great coffee. I think that's the closest I've come to smelling it. This next one is pumpkin chai. <laughs> Pumpkin chai, uh, iced cinnamon rolls and cashmere woods, spicy woods. It's what it's called. Spicy woods. I don't remember this one at all because okay. Yeah. I get that pumpkin chai. I get the spices from the chai. I get pumpkin. Do you get cinnamon rolls? That's what I'm getting most of. I don't know if I get the cashmere woods. I don't, I do not remember this at all. See, this is, this is why I need to revisit some of this and have less, less wax. Okay. And, um, I have this double bagged. This is frigid. This one looks like some of the notes have come off a little bit, but Fraser fur. Marshmallow Fireside, Iced Vanilla Woods, Peppermint Vanilla, Frigid. And it's a shape of like a tree, like a snow covered tree.
Mm. I get the marshmallow fireside. I get the ice vanilla woods. The peppermint isn't super minty. It's just adding a little bit of coolness. It's mostly a very, very really pretty iced vanilla wood scent with a little bit of tree. So that is a nice one. I think I had two of them and melted one or gave away. I definitely shared some of this haul with others. So put that back. And then I have Smells Like Snow. So I think this was a loaf that she cut up for me. I want to say I've had this scent before. I might have used it up last year. Um, this, if I remember correctly, had a lot of mint. Yeah. Ooh. And maybe Swedish Dream Salts. I think it might. Um, this is good. Oh, this is... It's like make... It's making my nose happy it's just this cooling air you know what i don't know I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe i do want to do some fun wintry christmas minty scents in the summer um because it's nice and cool i do i have heard of people warming like peppermint stuff especially if you live out in really hot hot climate so let me know if you're one of those that you want that peppermint smell because it just reminds you of cold weather. <laughs> it makes you feel cooler. Um, this this one here is, I think, my last of the shapes, and then we'll get into the samples. This is Christmas Memories. This is evergreen, pine cones, cinnamon, cranberry, and orange peel. Christmas Memories. It's like a stocking. This one's a little lighter to me. I get the evergreen, get the cinnamon, cranberry, get a touch of that orange. I'm, I'm getting it as I'm smelling it more, more of the orange. Yeah, that's a little lighter, but uh, compared to Smells Like Snow, which is so strong, um, this is nice. All right, so here is a bag. Here is a bunch of samples. So I came home one night back in October, I think it was, and uh, this was probably at my door. Uh, so one of my friends had, had, I think, bought a bunch, right? There's a bunch in here and cut, you know, cut some up or shared some with me and another friend. I don't know how much was like in her sample bag, but there was a lot. Um, and so I, I still have quite a bit. So this first one here is Potions and Notions from, and she labeled everything. I don't think I did that. I think she did that. <laughs> so I think she labeled everything, but it's a little potion. So a lot of these will be ones that um, back in October when I got them, started warming them in my, uh, in my little overnight, you know, milk diamond warmer. And just it gets close to the bed. I can get a good scent of it. And yeah, that's that's a good one. I have no idea. I don't have scent notes. Uh, here's Grave Digger. I know that this one is pretty popular, I believe. Um, I don't know why I'm showing you <laughs> a partial sample, but uh, you can see that this is a good chunk. This will fill up my room. Yeah, I do like this scent. Um, God, I, I'm going to be terrible when I have no scent notes to go on. I'm like, yeah, it smells. There's like a bakery note to it. There's definitely a bakery note to it. And that smells good. Slice of Demise. <laughs> it's it's falling apart here. I don't know what this is. Ooh, this bag was open. Bag was open, so it might have trouble. I'm getting some pumpkin in this one. I don't know if I should go through all my, my samples. Is this worth it? Haunted Hill. Haunted Hill. So I've got a little... I will definitely pull these out for maybe end of September, October. And go through these. Now this one smells like it's got um, 
icy woods. So that one, Haunted Hill. Fangtastic. I know she offered this recently in maybe two pre-orders ago. Fangtastic. And does this have like pumpkin pecan waffles or something? It's a bakery scent. Yeah. This has like some kind of pumpkin in it. Uh, maybe like a pumpkin pecan waffles. Then I've got gruesome. So what I will need to do is take notes of the ones that um, I like and, you know, keep that for future reference. Creepy Carnival. There is one that I did like. I'll have to go back in my messages and, and find it. Um, but it was good. Maybe Funnel Cake? Makes sense with the Creepy Carnival. Nightmarish. I do think it's fun that she's got a lot of these. I'm not going to snip them all. <laughs> these Halloween scents. This is just to show you my, my collection raised from the dead. But if you're curious about any of these, I can take a whiff. This is like half, <laughs> you can see it sliced half a zombie head there. Then uh, Izzy, Izzy dead. I love these names. Izzy Dead. I would be a horrible at coming up with titles and names for things, but Izzy Dead. I'm going to smell it. Gosh. Mm, I don't know about that one. <laughs> and they're, they're kind of smelling the same. They've been in this bag for a while. Magic Spell. Magic Spell. It is a cute little potion, but um, if the broom fits... If the broom fits. I got a sample of this recently. I think I threw it in there in a recent order. Not of this scent, but this shape. Uh, and it was a really good one. Berry? A berry scent, maybe? Pumpkin and po pumpkin and poison. So pumpkin and poison. When I see all these, it makes me wonder like how many how many scents am I just not familiar with? Hello Scream. Hello Scream. It's a cute little jack-o'-lantern there. Um Hello Scream. Here's Johnny. Don't know. It looks like it might have been like a uh, part of a a bunt cake or something. Here's Johnny. Witchful thinking. This is a little crumbly, <laughs> but like I said, I got a lot of samples here to go through and try. Um, Harvest Moon. So yeah, I'm going to have to go do what I did last year with my samples. Gord, Gord Genius. Gord Genius. Um, what I did last year was have that, uh, my sample jar, which is still here in the bedroom, but I would pick something from it every night and warm it. Black Cat's Prowl and, uh, use these up because I don't, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if I put all of these samples in my spreadsheet. Uh, Hallow's Eve. So I, I might not get credit <laughs> for these. Hallow's Eve. Um, Looks like it was a little house or something. Uh, and by credit, I'm the type of person who will even write a list, even though I've done something that day, just to check it off. <laughs> it gives me a sense of accomplishment. So if these are, I'm gonna look and see if these are on my spreadsheet. Uh, trick or treat, why do I think they're not? Because I don't think I've opened this bag since last year. Unearthly, unearthly, that is that curious if this has like any dirt or anything like that no nope. but I'm they all have similar uh, is it like a it's almost like a lot of these have pumpkin in it I think every day is Halloween and that's probably because it this was a Halloween sampler and owls screech owls screech 
So that is that. But I have lots to to uh, go in here. She's okay. So this was pharmacist daughter. She wrote on here thirty one days of wax. I'm thinking she said she shared a lot of her. I mean, there could be 31 in here. I'm not sure. Um, but thank you to my friend. Um, cause it's great to be able to try things like, for example, when fan fang tastic was offered a few pre-orders ago, I'm like, I think I have that one. And I did, and I didn't get it because I'm like, it's a fall scent to me and I don't need any more. And I still have this little sample here to try. So it helps me at least know what it smelled like and say, okay, it's a good one. I can see why it's popular, but I don't need it. Um, so that is, that is the pharmacist daughter. So, you know, it's, this is, this is the amount of wax I would love to have for a lot of the vendors that I have. Um, I feel like I've been good at kind of not going crazy, crazy with it, but uh, having, you know, an, a good sampling of it, I think. And, and part of this no buy journey, low buy, no buy journey is it is getting me to really think about which vendors are, are ones that are like, I just, I can't stay away from, you know, like I, they're just, they, they're me, they fit my personality, they fit my scent preferences, all of those things and which ones I'm okay. Like, you know, I don't need to order that much. Maybe they have a couple scents that I really, really love. And when I see it, I can just go in and get it and get out. Um, but it's been a very, it's been a good exercise for me just to think or like, which ones do I feel like, you know, you're, you're like addicted to versus which ones you're just like, you know, I enjoy it. I have some great blends, but I'm good. Like I don't need to go in on every pre-order. I don't need to stock their group site. Um, I'm good. So it's been a great, if anything, uh, exercise in really thinking about which vendors do I love. They work for me and I don't want to give up versus those that I like. They do work for me, but you know, there's only some where I feel like have to have since. So anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you've been enjoying this little series. We've got one more to go. I don't know if I'll film it tonight. Eh, we're getting sun starting to go down. So, um, I'll probably try to get to it when I can. I've been, uh, uploading when I can and trying to stay ahead of these videos because I've, it's been a busy month. Um, as I said, I'm filming this in June. I'm not sure when this will go up, but um, anyway, it's been it's been good to know that I have stuff lined up that I already recorded, pre-recorded, and then keep my consistent schedule to try to have like you know three three videos a week or so. So I don't know why I'm just talking now as I'm putting stuff away. <laughs> but thank you so much. All right, bye bye.